Hey guys, welcome back to Witcher 3, just heading across the ocean to the Isle of Mists. One thing I have noticed is that there, uh, there's these little harbour signs here, and I think I can fast travel to them. So I might do that instead, and just get there a little bit quicker, because it is a long way away. And uh, here we are at the Isle of Mists. Uh, there's another boat here, if I could just park it up. Don't think I can jump across. Nope, not quite. That's okay. So I'm not sure what we have here. There's a fast travel sign there, which is good. Have I been here before? Have these been unlocked? I think I might have actually... What? Wait, get on a boat. Okay, the game is going to make me get on a boat. Okay. And it has to be... Does it have to be this boat? No, what? <laughs> I don't know what's going on uh, with the, uh, the quest. Here we go. Travel to the Isle of Miss. Right, it's not... No, it's not going to let me get off the boat until I've made it to the Isle of Mists. So, I've fast travelled most of the way. Actually, I can probably fast travel a little bit closer. Let's fast travel over here. And then just start uh, sail across the rest of the way. Or maybe the Isle of Mists is just that little island up to the very north. I can get through here. Oh. Okay, not too far away. I guess it's this castle here, that's where Siri is. There's probably some treasure I could stop off and find along the way, but I can't really be bothered at this point. Before starting Hearts of Stone, I will probably make some uh, Witcher equipment. I haven't decided uh, which which set I'm going to make yet. Uh, but there's a few more diagrams. Uh, there's a few more diagrams I need to find um, on Skellige, so I'll do that uh, before starting Hearts of Stone. A uh, warning, save your game now. You are nearing, nearing a crucial point in the game's story. It is recommended you save your game in a manual save slot now. Okay. Are you sure you want to travel to the aisle? I think I finished all the uh, side quests. Follow the Firefly. Okay. I want to see where I am on the map. Oh, I'm all the way up here. Hmm. Okay. I 
it would go in a straight line. <laughs> Hard to see with the uh, oh my goodness! It's hard to see with the sail in the way as well. Being attacked. I think I can just ignore them. them <laughs> maybe I can't yeah I think I can ignore them if I get off get off here oops I can deal with them on dry land be a little bit easier if they're still following me I don't think they are loot a few things along the way and uh, continue following the firefly Sort out just in case. Firefly stopped at the hut. I'll look inside. in there? Damn. Hello. I'm not gonna hurt you. Open up. Oh, you blew a fucking cover. Who are you? What do you want? I'm Geralt, a witcher. Go away! Looking for a young woman. Ashen hair, scar on her face. Will you let me in? No. How many of you are in there? Why do you need to know? You're taking a bloody census. <laughs> Mind your mum's beer. Get yourselves together, lads. Sounds like dwarves. Who there? Outside the door. Geralt. That right? Yeah, Geralt. Listen, Geralt. Let's cut to the thick of it. We survived a shipwreck recently. Beasts from the depths ate some of my lads, and the rest of us found shelter here. Not too special, that, as dangers litter this isle, but it does go to explain why we're a wee bit distrustful. This conversation's getting tiring. Listen, let's make a deal. I thought it even. I'll try to dupe us now. I'm not a demon. You don't need to fear me. Give me a chance, I'll prove it. How do you aim to do that? Say I find your mates. Will you believe I mean no harm? Aye, but I'm not counting either. Coming too easy. How many are there? Three. I both Gaspar and Fenny. This Ivo, where do I look? Edgerton said that he would explore the cave to the east. Try to knock it out his head, literally. Bugger wouldn't budge. Gaspard, where'll I find him? He said it was defeatist, said the wait to be rescued. We had to take action, or, or at least he did. Claimed to have spotted a lantern out to sea, so he said he'd climb the highest peak to look out for a ship. Where'd Ferenc go? West. 
a Dutch of a ship that's said to be out there. Very He's there. Uh, handy. Thought I might fix it up. Need to see what they. All right. See if I can't find all three. See ya. I'm content to understand. Okay. It's like they're not going to let me in until I figure out what's been going on. So down to the south. First, look for Ferenc. Let's grab, um... Oh, can't grab Roach. Roach is not with us on this, uh, on this island, unfortunately. Which means I'm going to be running all the way there. Another little foglet. I'm hoping I can avoid him. Trying to flee the fiend. Stubby legs, too slow. A fiend, okay. Uh oh. Okay, let's have a look and see where this dwarf is hiding. Uh oh. One of the missing dwarves. Shame he's dead. That was kind of to be expected though, out here with a fiend. Just wondering if there's anything else we can find while we're here. What was the reason he came out here? Because it's to look for a ship or something. Okay, well I don't see anything special, so uh, now that we've got that one out of the way, Ivo in a cave, let's, let's head around the coast, uh, see if we can find Gaspard uh, by the lighthouse, uh, then I'll come back for the, uh, the dwarf in the cave. Hopefully at least one of them is still alive. Just need to pretty much follow the coast along. And I should get there before too long. Oh, I did not want to fall down here. Okay, I could take a look at some of this armor, see if it's it is better than what I've got. The axman's trousers, a little better than the assassin's trousers. This I can just drop, but I'll hang on to it for now. Uh, pretty quick there. Too quick for me to block. Ah, oh, he must be in the lighthouse.
just grab the uh, the pearls. Maybe I can sell them. To bed, Nibbles. Wake up. Wh what's happening? Who, who are you? I'm Geralt. You and your friends. What's your story? Rabinick and Company. Real estate appraisal, insurance, mass event organization. <sighs> Gaspard Sutter. My mates call me sleepy. I even slept through that storm. <laughs> it's a shame so many died. You and your friends, what you- Rabinick and company. I even slept through- It's a shame so many- Any chance you've seen an ashen-haired woman around here? Here? Nay, not a soul. But- Ooh, a lot passes me by on account of my sleeping. Your friends asked me to find you, Ferenc, and Ivo. I'm afeard they're dead. Some horror swarmed Ivo saw it with my own eyes. And Ferenc, I heard him. A blood-curdling cry, then the roar of a beast. Let's get back to the hut. I'll protect you along the way. Shame about the lads, really, but what can you do? Come on. But I should warn you, I suffer from narcolepsy, meaning... Uh, oh. I know what it means. Don't worry, I'll keep you awake. <sighs> Off we go, then. I did want to explore the cave just to make sure. Okay. Can I save? Can I save? It's probably pretty important to keep him alive. Show me what you got. Come on, girl. Oh, my goodness. That's stronger than me. I'm so sorry. He's falling asleep. Come on, get up. Oh, nipples, you're a naughty kitty, aren't you? <laughs> All right, I'm up. Huh? Come on. Let's have a look and see which one is... Oh, the cave is there. I guess I need to bring him back to the hut. We've hardly moved you know anywhere. Much about this aisle. Almost nothing. Come on, guys, but... in on my map. A common characteristic of enchanted islands. You think it's enchanted? It's the one thing I'm sure of. Uh, which way are we going? Let's make sure he continues to follow behind me. To this path again with the lamps, so I think I'm on the right track. Guess he's only got little legs, he can't run that fast. I don't 
I go to sleep That's now. Stronger than me, I'm so sorry. Wake up. All right, right. Just a wee bit longer. Get up. Huh? Okay, we're almost there. Come on. So, what is it brought you to this strange place? Looking for someone. Here? Mm-hmm. Just kind of turned out that way. Not too keen on talking about it, are you? Not really. Okay, we this can place seems sleepy. safe enough. Just be sure and come back. And make it quick, eh? Not that much to see here. Okay, I look for uh, Ivo in the cave is the last last lost dwarf. So I'll head around this way, see what we can find. A few harpies to deal. Whoa, don't want to fall off there. Harpies to deal with. Kind of get up there. Way. Oh, this, is this the cave? This is a cave. I don't suppose it goes all the way through, does it? I do need to head back around to the lighthouse area. Looks like that's heading out to the um, out to the ocean. So I need to head down and then around. And uh, hopefully that will take me where I need to go. This is the wrong spot again, isn't it? Oh, is there a way up the cliffs, actually? Oh, there might be. Let's uh, see if there is a way up the uh, up or around the cliffs. I don't care too much about those harpies for now. Someone was calling out. A man! Oh, there he is there. Uh, am I ever pleased to see you? I talked to your friends. Come down. Right. I'm coming. You lucky devil, you. You know, I have one regret. That... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Dead. Damn. Ugh. Oh. What? Oh, my goodness. What? No. Ah, what was his one regret? More oh, hags over there. Anything worth looking at? What if there's another way to save him? Okay, I guess I'll take the uh, same path back again. I can't believe he just fell off the <laughs> he just fell off the rock like that. Oh, there is another way up, isn't there? Look around here. If I follow the path, I can climb up the mountain. Ah, here we go. And I can pretty much ignore the harpies along the way. Don't think they will uh, catch up with me as long as I keep on running. Up. 
maybe they will. Come on, girls. Ah, oh, here we are. Here we are. Come on. Brought you your friend. Ah, uh, sure. Let's hear him then. Wake up. Uh, I'm awake. <laughs> Gaspard, stand back. I'm opening the door. Gaspard, ha, you seem a bit muddled. Eh, uh, muddled. A bit drowsy, that's all. What of the others? Found one near a monster's den. He was already dead, sadly. Saw another fall from a cliff. Broke his neck. Shit. Ravenick told me to have an eye on the snot. Twas his nephew. Thanks for helping. And, uh, sorry I didn't trust you. Oh, everything's gone wrong. What'll we do now? Got a boat. You can leave with me. But I need to find someone first. An ashen-haired lass? Yes. Oh, dreadful, sorry. What do you mean? She's cold. Spirits left her. Must have passed shortly before we found her. Let's wait by the boat. Guess not all of Vesemir's teachings have receded into oblivion. A witcher can forget to eat, to drink, to breathe even. But a witcher never, ever forgets to care for his blade. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I used to repeat that incessantly. Never tired of doing it either. What creature was it? Huh? Creature? One that gave you the scar over your left eye. It's new. I don't remember it. Souvenir from the Cockatrice of Spalna. Another addition to the collection. Nothing special. Yours has healed beautifully, though. Avalok, 
He prepared some special ointments for me. But that was before the curse gripped him. I wonder where he is now. We lifted the curse. He's at Kaer Morin, waiting for you. Are you serious? You must be. You'd not jest about something like that. <laughs> A nice thing to wake up to. You trust him? Avalog? He's not let me down to date. Not once. Why exactly is Avalok helping you? Sages have never been fond of humans. He doesn't do it for me. It's about my power. As if it could ever be about anything else. Avalok tried to teach me how to control my ability. He was also making sure I didn't fall into Eridin's hands. What's Eridin after? What's he want from you? What everyone wants. Control of my powers. His homeworld faces annihilation. Eridin's decided to invade ours. Brilliant, wouldn't you say? Can't achieve much on his own, so he needs to bring an army. Except his navigators can't possibly move him and thousands of NL between planes. Their abilities won't allow it. Whereas yours will. Exactly. And if I die in the process, well, that's a necessary sacrifice. How do you ever start traveling with Avalach? As soon as I had left you and Yen on the Isle of Avalon, I found myself pursued. Eridin and his Red Riders were on my heels. I fled through many worlds, many times. They came very close to catching me once. It was then that Avalach appeared, out of nowhere. He found a portal and took us to a world where Eridin couldn't find us for, oh, perhaps half a year. The world where Eridan couldn't find you, what was it like? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. People there had metal in their heads. Waged war from a distance, using things similar to megascopes. And there were no horses. Everyone had their own flying ship instead. Siri, stop fooling around. Told you you wouldn't believe me. <sighs> we should have stayed there. So why'd you return? I thought the hunt had lost my scent for good. I thought I was safe. Besides, I... I wanted to find you. You and Yennefer. You were looking for us. We were looking for you. Times I thought you were just a step away. Other times, felt like I was going around in circles. I'm not surprised. There were times I fled pell-mell head first and forward. So tell me how it happened, step by step. Eridin located us mere moments after we landed on Ard Skellig. Soon after, he and his riders surrounded us. I thought it was over, the end. Turned out Eridin had other plans. He produced the phylactery, uncorked it. A fog enveloped us, and Avalach began gasping for air. That's how Eridin cursed Avalach, triggered his transformation into Uma? Yes. He didn't wish to kill him. Humiliation, that's what he was after. But Avalok refused to succumb without a fight. He cast a spell that wrought havoc in the hunt's ranks. And in a full half of a forest on Ard Skellig. Yet it also gave us time to flee. Avalok opened a portal. I leapt in. He was supposed to follow right behind me, but something went awry. Impaired by the curse, he failed to reach the portal in time. We had agreed that if anything went wrong and we were separated, we would meet at his hideout in Venon. But you failed to meet there. Yes, we failed to. Once through the portal, instead of at Avalark's hideout, I landed right in the middle of Crookback Bog. I barely escaped the crones. And then there was the Baron. You know he took me hunting. I killed a wild boar with my sword. I heard. A coincidence, really. I had no desire to hunt that day, but it felt wrong to refuse. I'd taken nothing remotely resembling a hunting weapon. I simply hadn't intended to hunt. 
I was wandering through the forest, breathing deep the air. And then I heard a strange sound. Unsettling. Boar attacked you? Mm-hmm. Big as a bison, and lumbering straight at me. And all I had was my sword. I had to manage. Did just fine, judging by how the Baron's men remember it. Simple soldiers, the whole lot. But we got along splendidly. A shame I had to leave. Flee. But I didn't want to bring the wild hunt down on them. Apart from which, I knew by then the curse was progressing. So instead of looking for Avalach, I decided to find you and Yen. So how do you even meet a man like Horson Jr.? You and Yennefer were nowhere to be found, and I needed someone who could fix the phylactery. No ordinary craftsman would do. I needed a mage, one with extraordinary powers. Dandelion took it upon himself to help me. It was as if his honor depended on it. He arranged a meeting with a mage, but it proved a trap set by the temple guard. Hmm, <laughs> failed to mention that. <laughs> Probably didn't want to worry you. Later, we learned the guard did that sort of thing regularly in the hope of nabbing anyone who collaborated with mages. We needed to find another way. That was clear. Then Dandelion said he knew a man who owned a piece of Novigrad, as he put it, could do more than others. He was certain to know someone who could fix the phylactery. Orson Jr. Mm-hmm. I suspected it might not be the best idea, but I was desperate. I had no choice. You suspected right. Horson was not the ideal partner in crime. Damned Simpleton got it in his head that we cheated him and kidnapped Dudu. Who you promptly freed only to have to flee to Temple Isle. Great idea. We hadn't planned it. Had no time to consider. We'd just bolted. I didn't even realize the guardsmen were driving me into a trap. Suddenly there I was, and I knew I had to disappear. At once. And that's when you landed back in Skellige. The shore of Hindisfjall. The first pleasant place that came to mind. Kjalmar and I used to swim there. Wait, so... You actually wound up there by accident? I thought you and Avalok had arranged something. No, he simply sensed me use my power. Just as Eredin can sense where I am. Where I travel. In fact, Eredin arrived soon after I did. His ride is in tow. Once again, things happened quickly. Lofferton, the hunt's attack, my flight. And then, dreams. Just dreams. What did you dream? I've had nothing but nightmares lately. Pretty horrible. Likewise, for the most part. In one, a monster grown from a stillborn child chased you. Ugh, that was horrible. I had a few nice dreams. For example, in one we sat around a fire, drinking good wine, and all around people danced and laughed. I like that one a lot better. Me too. But these dreams, and the others, ended in some tower. No matter what I dream, in the end, I would enter a tower. Recognize it? Know where it might be? I'm not sure. I don't think so, but there was something familiar about it, and something terrifying. The tower was stark and dead, but at the same time I felt I had to enter it. Did you? No. Dreams all ended with me searching for the entrance, and the last time, instead of the tower, I saw your grizzled face. If not for the scar over your eye, I'd have thought I was still dreaming. I was afraid you were dead. Found some dwarves here. Said they'd try to wake you, but you were cold as ice and you weren't breathing. And yet you came in. Who listens to dwarves these days? Speaking of which, they're probably getting antsy. We should go. Got a boat on the beach. Once we land, we'll head for Kaer Morin. On horseback. Right. Conventional means of travel. They're just better. Though a portal would be quicker. And draw Eredin to us immediately. Rather not risk it. Besides, I hate portals. Damn! 
Listen, we gotta think of a way to... Welcome back, child. Siri! <laughs> My, you've grown beautiful. No point standing around. Come on, time to greet the others. You've not changed a bit. Any of you. All just like I remembered. What? Little sis. Here, everyone you asked for help. Avalox resting in the tower, still in pretty bad shape. No reason to do it out here. Come inside. Damn, it's good to see you again. I... Maybe I'll give you two a moment. Trist, please. No, no, y you must have missed each other terribly. A minute's delay won't hurt anyone. Ah, uh, the hunt is on the way. No, we should get going. They're waiting for us. Yeah, you know the wild hunt better than anyone else. Tell us about the magic they use. Their navigators open portals, rifts that we might counter with dimeridium or our own magic. They also summon the frost that occupies the voids with which they travel. There's just not enough of us. It'll be a hard fight. Good to see you. I do want to listen to this conversation as uh, we make our way up. Ha! You found her. They told me the hunt was after her. That those buggers might burst in uninvited. So I've made a Mahakam and mix. When this plowing blows, it'll be bits and pieces, nothing more. Good job, Sultan. Good job. I certainly hope this gas will work. This Ermian. She's one of us, Geralt. No way we'll let him take her. Oh, Lambert. Any progress? Just can't get this thing to fling a bolt. They'll sooner appoint me Hierarch of Novigrad. 
Esco. Greetings, Wolf. Esco. Need some peace. Gotta prepare. 